Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Don, and uh, tonight I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm I'm up, and I thought, what the hell? I'll turn the camera on and let you guys watch me fiddle around with the uh, new DCS World 2.7 uh, stable update. And you know, I gotta I gotta hand it to Eagle Dynamics. It's awesome that they have now given us free play in in. DCS world so now for the first 14 days of every six months you can test out all the aircraft so I downloaded a couple that I've been wanting to see and I thought uh, what the hell I'll just let you guys uh, ride with me while I test them out tonight in the Yaw VR motion simulator using the Pimax 5k super uh, headset so all right um, I might not even be a lot of talky talky in this I might just fly a little bit so See you on the other side. All right, there we go. We are in the game, and that is where we want to be. And yes, I have a cursor, and uh, hopefully everything is working for you guys. So uh, if anybody is uh, watching the stream, please let me know. Are the audio levels okay? Is everything okay? This is an unplanned live stream. I just decided to go live because uh, I had everything created for it already. So anyway, like I said, if you're just joining uh, tonight, I am just going to be uh, checking out the new 2.7 stable update for DCS and uh, going to gonna finally be able to check out a lot of the aircraft. And I want to thank my friend Matthew Lake for giving me a heads up that, that Eagle Dynamics had dropped this uh, on us. I mean, the free to play, man, it is great every 14 days. You can test out all the aircraft. So tonight uh, I downloaded a few that I wanted to see, like the A-10, the F-16, the F-A-18. Did a couple of helicopters too, uh, the Huey and the KA-50. Uh, so never really flown a helicopter, so that's going to be interesting. But, uh, oh, and Nevada. Uh, we're going to check out, uh, fly a little over the strip action here. Uh, let's just go ahead and start right here with the A-10. Uh, not going to do uh, missions or anything. Just going to do free flights. Just testing the different aircraft. Just ooing and eyeing at the cockpits. And uh, just getting a feel for them in the yaw here. Uh, so, let's go. It's a cool looking plane. Come on. Whoa, there we go. Okay, God, I always love that when it swings you into place uh, with the motion compensation. So, okay, we're just going to take a little free flight over the Nevada desert here. Uh, ooh. It's off like a rocket. <laughs> this looks great. Altitude, altitude. Oh man, okay, so I've never really noticed all the little reflections in the cockpit before, so there must have been some graphics updates that came along with 2.7 as well, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let's go ahead and get some altitude. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. Okay, so never been in this cockpit. I gotta say this one looks really menacing. Lots of little buttons and switches. Um, I definitely don't play these games professionally by any means, uh, but it feels really good to be able to just grab the HOTAS, do some basic flight here in the Yaw VR. Okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. 
take it down to the deck here. Man, if I've said it a thousand times, I mean, I know I've said it a thousand times now, but when the motion compensation is working really good, uh, that yaw kicks in, ooh, it feels good. So, I know, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions about the yaw too, and I am so super, super happy for those guys, man. Um, over 2.5 million on their Kickstarter, so. Altitude, um, altitude. I just, I, I cannot wait to see altitude, the, altitude. the product that they bring out with the yaw too. Uh, it is just going to be mind blowing. Because even this little bowl, just sitting in this little bowl, it is just, it, every time it blows my mind. Smallest Altitude. amounts of motion can really start to trick your brain. Very nice. Altitude. Now, obviously, Altitude. this is not Flight Simulator 2020 quality by any means but, you know, we've got enough realism going on outside the cockpit glass here to make all this feel a little believable. Ah, uh, Vegas. I have been here many times. Had a really good time, though, at CES 2020 with the Pimax team uh, when they brought me out. That was my first CES and first time trying the 8KX and you know, I gotta say, well, I've been getting a lot of questions about that too because I've been I've been using this headset a lot on my channel, uh, the 5K Super, and it, I really do like the smoothness of this headset. I, it, and now, granted, I'm not getting 180 frames um, uh, tromb. <laughs> yeah, where's my missiles? Yeah, right. Um, I'm definitely not getting 180 frames a second by any means, but uh, altitude, something altitude. about this headset that no matter what, when I'm running it at 180, even though it reduces the field of view, or probably because it reduces the field of view, I can really jack the super sampling up in Steam VR and still get an enormously smoother head tracking than I'm used to feeling. I don't know. That's pretty damn cool. Loving this. This is so cool. Let's fly right down the strip. Here, I need to altitude, do this at night. Altitude. Maybe we'll do that on the next run. Nice, very nice. Okay, so that was the A-10 um, over Las Vegas. That was really cool. Uh, so just uh, quickly check in here on the stream, see if anybody's even watching. Um, and uh, eh, I got a couple of people watching, so thanks for anybody who is joining the stream tonight. Uh, uh, and just, you know, for anybody who's joining at this point, uh, just let you know, I, I this is, I'm just 
messing around here, uh, just uh, testing out the new uh, DCS 2.7 update uh, because it's got free play, and and finally we can uh, we can check out all the different aircraft. So very cool. All right, let's see here. So that was the A-10. Let's check out the F-16 here. And uh, once again, we'll just do free flight. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Because currently, you know, when you when you download the free version of DCS, uh, you get uh, two aircraft: the the SU-25 and uh, I think the T-51. It's like an older. So it's nice to be able to check out all of the different aircraft. Now, obviously, you know, I, I see what you're trying to do here, Eagle Dynamics. You're going to get me hooked on one specific one, then I'm going to have to go run and buy it. And, and it did already offer me a 30% discount uh, off, of the, uh, off of the different aircraft that I'm testing right now. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they're clever. Their clever ploy works. This is a free flight mission. Whoa, man. We used to become familiar with basic aircraft handling, which just explored the area. There are no threats. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm the only threat for sure. Okay, so even though this is just a completely bland, monotone <laughs> landscape, it being a desert, ah, the contours of it look great from up here, and the, the graphics definitely look somewhat enhanced. I don't know if that was a big part. I didn't really read the upgrade notes for the version 1.7 update for ADCS, but to me the graphics look sharper. Maybe it resets some settings, I don't know. Because I did used to really have to turn this game down in order to play it. Um, it, it it's very demanding. <laughs> You're sky right there, buddy. Um, this is one of those games that back even to the DK2 days, uh, it would just choke my system. But now, I've got to say, God, this is like butter freaking smooth. I don't know if that's the IMAX, I don't know if that's the game, but wow, this is great. Oh, shut up. My favorite thing to fly is like the space games. It's like I'm loving Star Wars Squadrons in the all. Um, but uh, every time I play one of these terrestrial games, I don't think I can turn it all the axes.
stop over here at the come and go, man. Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh! Balls. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so that was cool. Let's see, what was that? The F-16. Okay. Yeah, so that was the X. Uh, so let's try the FA-18. Um, let's do free flight again. Oh shit, I can't change it here. I want to change Vegas to night. See if it all lights up. Surely it would. We'll just go for it. Ooh. Oh, wow. The lighting and the shading in this, once again, man, giving me like some spooky realism out there. Digging that. Ooh, digging this cockpit, too. Sorry, I was playing with buttons. So you can do that. You can actually activate, like here on my X-52, I have a mouse. And since I have a mouse, or I could do it with my mouse and keyboard here, um, I can actually uh, push all the little buttons. And I think, actually, yes, okay, there we go. So because uh, with 2.7, I think that they did bring in motion controls. So yeah, there we go. I can... I can also use my hands. I don't know if I can use my hands to fly. Ah! Fly up, fly up. Yeah, okay, I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. Altitude. Altitude. Sorry, like I said, this is really raw here, guys, so hold on. So there we go. Got some hands in the cockpit here. Oh yeah, okay, I guess you can actually fly the plane kind of VTOL style here. So, very cool. Didn't realize I could do that. Actually, I think this has been in for four the update. Um, I've just never turned it on. Maybe it's just on by default. Not my favorite way to fly, though. So we'll definitely put those back away and just take control here with the stick. Man, I don't know if it's because it's a desert skate, but I'm just I'm getting serious presence vibes. I mean, like I'll just stop for a minute. And I, I just, I lose it. I, I'm not even streaming to you guys. I'm not, I'm, 
just the feel and the rumble of the bowl underneath me and, and just really feeling intensely connected to this game. Like, I am flying this damn plane. This is freaking nuts. And the fact that I can lean forward and the, the motors keep the bowl where it's supposed to be, I can lean out, I mean, it doesn't like make me like all slosh around, yeah, that's great. I really, I can just chill. I mean, normally I do actually when you guys aren't watching, I mean, when I'm not streaming or recording, I just put on my favorite tunes and just kick back and just chill. I, I am flying, flying in my damn house. <laughs> this is nuts. I've been doing this for a long time, but it never ceases to amaze me how real everything is getting. We're so close, man. It's not holodeck real, not by any means, but we're getting there. I feel like I'm playing Elite Dangerous right now because it's so barren looking. Yep. Yep, I hear you are too. Alright, no. I'm just gonna crash. No, oh, I can't save myself. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I wanted, I meant to do that. So, okay, very cool. F-18A, yeah, loving it. So, let's see, it still says we got a couple people watching, so I do appreciate you guys for uh, coming by and checking out what I'm doing here tonight um, on my channel. Um, once again, completely unannounced and just, you know, um, completely just out of the blue. So, all right, we're going to get back to it because I don't want to make this stream super duper long. Uh, it is a work night, school night, so to speak. So, all right, let's see here. So, let's we've tested. Oh, okay, the KA-50. Now we're down to a helicopter. So, this should be interesting. I've never flown. I don't believe I've flown a VR helicopter. Um, so. And it's like a big sum bitch too. It's like one of those. If you saw that in the sky above you, yeah, it's not a good thing. So okay, cool. It's gonna, it's gonna start me in air um, over the strip. So okay. So first and foremost, loving this cockpit. This is cool. seem to be having any motion in the simulator though, so I don't know what's going on there. So very cool, but no motion to the simulator. No shredding. Focus back. No? Okay, so something definitely about this one, but you know, I want to think that I did try this earlier and had motion in the simulator. So I don't know what's going on. No, that's right, I have never I have not tried the helicopters, I tried all the planes. I'm talking out loud now. So, oh, bummer. So I like that there's a little traffic going on. Um, obviously not um, not Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 level by any means. Uh, but this 
is no good. No good without my motion. It is almost like one of those things that I've I've gotten so accustomed to having the motion simulator now with flight games that it, it, it I just I don't even want to play them without it. So hold on, I'm gonna check some things here. Okay, so that's what's going on. All right, hold on. We're going to restart some racing studio here. That's our problem. So, you know, since you can see all this, uh, I, you know, I am, I am using Sim Racing Studio, uh, really liking their setup here. Um, Let's go ahead and make sure. Yeah, there we go. Center. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's try the K50 again. Definitely got the motors engaged, so... Yep, there we go. Alright, now we're going to have some motion here in the KA-50. So, as I said in the description of the video that I typed very quickly before I went live, that yes, this is going to be a very raw live stream. Expect technical glitches. And there we had our first one. But we're back. And there we go. Now we feel it. Now we got some motion to go along with our helicopter and so flying a helicopter is a different feeling for sure I've only gotta make everything seems more broad motion it's slower Uh, this is a cool sensation, though. Being able to really slowly get down around these buildings and stuff. Very cool. Man, I cannot wait. Oh, the Yaw 2. Let's talk some more about the Yaw 2. Have you guys seen the Yaw 2? Because that just looks nuts. Uh, I cannot wait till I get in this chair. I, I mean, I hope. I gotta say, I'm kind of liking the helicopter. It's definitely taking some getting used to, but...
four. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. No good. Okay. Y'all just y'all just drive on by. Yeah, you know, I mean um, we got fire coming from the air over here. You know, but y'all y'all just y'all just go on. Nobody stop and see what's going on. Uh oh. Uh oh. That can't be good. Still try and take off there. Oh, yep. Oh, you just drove right into the fire. Um, and you too, and you too. Um, yeah, you're dead. That's fine. Alright. Enough of that. So let's see where are we at here. So we just did the KA50. Okay, so the SU25 and the the TF51D. Those are the two planes that already come with the free. So I guess the last one's the Huey. The the. So we're gonna do another helicopter to finish it out here. And I guess we'll stay in Nevada. You know, I really wish there was a way. I don't know. Hold on. How can I change Nevada to be at night? Maybe you can't. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, hold on. Let me see if there is a setting. Oh. Cool. Turn on some birds. Okay. Now, I guess we'll just I'll mess with that later. Because, yeah, I would really love to see uh, Nevada at night. That would be nice. So, okay, Huey, Nevada free flight, that's all we get. So, and there are other environments and uh, obviously tons of other aircraft that you can download um, now with the free play. Okay, cool, at least I'm starting on the ground with this one. Oh, cool, I got a co-pilot dude. Hey, co-pilot dude. Um... They're, 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 you know, but I, I just haven't downloaded all of them yet. Uh, this is, this is what I decided to do for tonight. Um, what I could cram into maybe an hour of testing. So, all right. There we go. All right. All right, co-pilot dude. You ready? Uh, I'm really, really bad at this. <laughs> I love this stuff. Cable's holding up okay. Not too much twist on it. And since this will be the last flight of the night, I think we'll make it. So, alright, for anybody who is just joining the stream late, uh, I'm probably going to be bringing it up after this uh, flight here. But uh, what I've been doing tonight to go around is I've just been testing some of the aircraft that are now available under the free to play uh, for DCS 2.7 checking out some of the, uh, the, the fixes and, uh, yeah, um, i got to say 2.7 is legit, I love this, so, alright, let's get in the air. Ah, this one's a little harder to control. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. So the AH-50 was much, much easier to control. <laughs> the old Huey here. Uh, maybe, I'm sorry, 
sorry, this is the man, I don't know. Whoa, got a hand flying out of that. Okay, hold on, stand by. Oh shit, oh, no, that can't be good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give this one another shot. Okay, so I got, oh, we're gonna watch some cool planes take off. Very cool. Nice. Alright, hold on. We gotta give that one another shot. Yeah, fly again. Okay. The UH-1H. No, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, the AH-50 was what we were... Okay, so UH-1H here, um, I believe what they call the Huey. Um, um, okay, so this one definitely different than that big attack helicopter. That thing flew more like what you expect. This is like all over the place crazy. Little pilot dude, I told you it's gonna be rough, but you know, you just gotta give me a couple, gotta give me a couple minutes to figure it all out. Alright, I'm being really quiet because I'm concentrating. This is definitely harder to fly than I'm flying. Not super, super hard, but it's like, I, I, I don't know, I don't feel like I can like, let off the stick, otherwise I start like, going up in the stratosphere here. Notice I just realized I have lost motion. Coming in hot. Okay, 
so what's going on there? All right, go ahead and come out of this for a second. Okay, all right, there we go. So, all right, looks like we do have a couple of people watching here. So, X Cushion, hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Um, well, you know, I could blow some stuff up, but I'm I'm just uh, just you know I'm just flying. Um, T Burden, am I getting the yaw to? No, not really. I don't. I mean, yeah, I, I hope. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm trying to work out a deal with y'all uh, right now on that, but uh, more to come. Uh, so, all right. Well, guys, you know, this is just a short but sweet stream here. It looks like we've been going almost about 45 minutes, so I'm probably going to go ahead and cap it here. I just wanted to jump in uh, tonight and test a few of the... Uh, of the <laughs> my back is turned. Hold on. i got to fix that. Let's see if this spins me around. Otherwise, that means it's Sim Racing Studio that lost control. Nope. It is Sim Racing Studio that lost control. So we'll go ahead and turn off the tracker and uh, turn around so I can at least face you guys um, as we end this video. There we go. All right. Um, so anyway, like I was saying... Um, yeah, I, I appreciate everybody who came by to watch tonight, but this was just a completely... Uh, you know, unplanned live stream. Just wanted to turn the camera on while I tested 2.7 and let you guys watch. And I appreciate those who did. Um, uh, for those who didn't, um, well, you know, you don't know what you're missing. So anyway, all right, guys, that's it. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.